Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for the February 18th gas idealized by Bill Murphy. And this is a Rinban and odd and even Sudoku. Normal Sudoku rules apply. One to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some purple lines. And along the purple lines, we need a run of consecutive digits. They don't have to be in order though. So let's just use this as an example. Um, this could be something like 465, um, but it couldn't be 475 because these are not consecutive. This is 6. But they don't have, it, have to be in any, any particular order along the line. Um, and then odd and even, the circles must contain odd digits, the squares must contain even. And we could color in this puzzle, and we might, um, as we go, uh, I haven't decided yet. But we'll start with the rim band lines that have given digits, and they have squares or circles. So, 5 needs to be part of a set of three consecutive digits with two even. The only two digits those can be are 4 and 6. If we tried to put an 8, we can't do 5, 6, 7, 8 because that's 4 digits. So that doesn't work. And there's a 2. We're going to get the same sort of thing with the 2 here. The only two odd digits that we put with 2 are 1 and 3. And in both of these cases, it's just the digits on either side. That doesn't necessarily have to be the case, um, but because we're doing, I guess it does kind of have to be the case. If if these are the same parity and this is the other parity, they do have to be the digits on the, on either side. So that makes it a little bit easier. But this is one because we have threes and this is. Three. Now the three we don't have any parity indications, so this could go one two three or it could go up to three, four, five. But the only thing this digit can be is one, because we have two, five, and four in the box. And I apologize if I sound kind of funny, my sinuses are still a little bit of a mess. Um, but if we have one on the line, now we have that one, two. So that's one, two, three. And these are gonna be from seven, eight, nine. This one's not seven, this one's not eight. Okay, sorry about that. I had to try and clear my nose and throat. Um, I am really struggling this morning. Um, all right, so either side of eight is seven and nine. These are both odd. And now we have a seven, eight, nine in the uh, row. So our remaining digits are four, five, six. We'll just keep that in mind. Um, three needs to be surrounded by two and four. We have a two in the row. So that's four, that's two. So this is no longer four. And these digits are going to have to be consecutive with a 5 or a 6. Um, we'll worry about that later. Uh, 1 needs to go in this box somewhere, so it has to go here. And we're left with 2, 5, and 6 in the box, but we have a 2 here. So this is 5 or 6. Uh, here we need 6, 7, and 9. This one can't be 7. And one of these is 6, so this is not. All right, let's come down here. So around the five, we need four and six. We have a four here. Here we need seven and nine. We have a seven in the box. I think this is the mirror of box one. Uh, seven can go next to eight, six, four, five, but those are in the box. The only thing left is nine with an eight in between. These are one, two, three, and now we have a two and three in the column. So this is 1. The 2 here means this is 2. Sort. The 6 here means this is 5 and 6. The 9 means this is 7 and 9. 7 here places 7 in box 1. The 5 resolves our 4 and our 6 and our 4. This is no longer 7 and we are left with 5, 7, and 8. We have two 7s here. These are going to be 5 and 
so that cleaned up a lot. Uh, let's go over here. Around the two, we need one and three. We have one here. Around the seven, we need six and eight. We have a six. So eight, six. That leaves us with five and six in the row, but there's a six in the box. And these are going to be from four, eight, and nine. There's an eight here, and there's a nine here. Finish that box. These are one and four. We have one. Here. These are two, three, and five. And we don't quite have the symmetrical deduction here. Uh, here we had two sevens, but this time we have a one and so can't resolve that yet. Uh, the nine here resolves the six and nine. Okay, these are from three and Five. The five can't go on the line with another five, so this is three, five. In between the three and the five, we need a four. Now we need six and nine here. We need one, seven, and eight. We have a one and eight in the row. So these are one and eight. Here we can um, do the same thing. We have a five on the line, so this can't be five. This is our five. Left a seven on the line. Six to go in between them. That resolves six and nine. Uh, the eight down here resolves nine eight. These are one four four there. Uh, the one resolves one eight. These are two three and nine. So nine a three and two. I think those are resolved. Yep. Uh, we need a six in this row. There's a six. Here. Here. Um, now we need nine, so three, nine, two, three. Uh, this is no longer three, so this is. Here we need four and five. You know the order four and five here. This is two, five, or eight, which is not resolved. This is just two, though. So that gives us five, two, eight, five, eight, and nine. And that is how you solve Idealize by Bill. If you enjoyed that puzzle.